Hello, my name is Bradley Hemmings and I'm the Artistic Director of Greenwich and Docklands International Festival. This year's festival once again offers the very best of outdoor performing arts with a stunning range of events taking place across Royal Greenwich and East London from the 26th of June to the 5th of July. In a UK premiere, one of France's most acclaimed outdoor theatre companies, Oposito, will present their latest promenade show, Cory Cory, taking audiences on a theatrical journey through Greenwich on Friday the 26th of June. Featuring a chorus of actors and musicians carrying chairs, this very topical production explores the idea that by acting together, it's possible to create a better world. The Greenwich Fair is a festival within a festival, offering London's largest and most intensive weekend of street arts on Saturday the 27th and Sunday the 28th of June in Greenwich Town Centre. Featuring artists from the UK, Belgium, France, Denmark and Spain, there's a particularly strong circus programme this year. Highlights include a reinvention of eight classic rock tracks from festival favourites Gandini Juggling, a surprising musical performance in a tank of water from the French company Barola Solo, as well as crowd-pleasing Chinese pole acrobatics integrated with special effects from the Flemish group 15 Feet 6. Then, on the evening of the 27th of June, don't miss the London premiere of 451, a brand new GDIF commission show telling the powerful story of a future in which books are not only banned, but burned. Based on Ray Bradbury's famous novel Fahrenheit 451, the production will take place at Bethnal Green Gardens in Tower Hamlets and is the work of Periplum, a UK-based company who create powerful outdoor shows featuring moving structures, pyrotechnics and evocative sound and music. Building on the festival's long-standing reputation for presenting the best of outdoor dance, we're delighted to be back at Canary Wharf once again with weekday, lunchtime and early evening performances, as well as our largest ever Dancing City programme on Saturday the 4th of July, which brings together leading dance companies from across the UK and internationally. At the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park, we'll be presenting a programme of exceptional outdoor performances and installations from UK and international companies from Friday the 3rd of July to Sunday the 5th of July. Performances include the UK premiere of the Australian children's theatre company Polyglot's production Tangle, which encourages children and families to create a massive interactive sculpture from elastic. Navratan, a piece of ingenious storytelling based on Mughal traditions from Nutcut, and an explosion of processional dance, colour and paint with the colour of time from French company Artonic. A new addition this year in the south of the Royal Borough of Greenwich is an interactive fairy tale for the 21st century. Presented by acclaimed site-specific theatre company Look Left Look Right, it takes place in Oxley's Woods surrounding the magical Seven Drew Castle and runs from Thursday the 2nd of July to Sunday the 5th of July. Five to 11 year olds are invited to help free a modern princess from the spell which has locked her up in the castle. The Four Freeders will be a spectacular outdoor production inspired by the life and work of the legendary Mexican painter Frida Kahlo, which will take place at the Royal Artillery Barracks in Woolwich from the 1st to the 4th of July. Packed with Mexican colour and extraordinary staging, it brings together an award-winning creative team, as well as an appearance by Schechter Jr., an exciting apprentice programme from Hofes Schechter Company, representing the very best of a talented new generation of young dancers. There will also be aerial performance, giant video projections, pyrotechnics, and an exclusive presentation of the spectacular flight of the Voladores by a group of Mexican women appearing exclusively at GDIF. So join us from the 26th of June to the 5th of July for London's most spectacular festival of free outdoor arts.